Okay, so here's a typical type of question you might see asking for a square root approximation. Notice the way they say it. They say between which two integers does the square root of 210 lie? So you, by lie they mean like lying or existing on a number line. So you can picture this number sitting somewhere or, or lying somewhere on the number line and between which two integers is this number. Now an integer is just a positive or a negative whole number. And that's actually, you know, usually on these questions, what they do is they just refer to the positive roots of numbers. But this is a good question in one sense because at least it points to the fact that uh, every square root has both a positive and negative, right, root. So, for example, the square root of 4, sure, it equals 2. But could it also equal positive or negative 2? Because negative 2 times negative 2 is also a positive 4? And the answer is yes. So here, we'll, we'll look at it in terms of positive and negative, just for fun. Even though on, the, on most tests, what they'll probably only point to is the, is the positive root, especially in middle school. So how do we do this? Well, we want to start testing out roots to figure out about where 210 is. And what I know right away is that 14 squared is 196. That means that 210 is above 14. So if we hit plot of 14 here, and I know that 15 squared is equal to 225. So it's below 15, right? And I can figure out that it's much closer, right, to one of these two by subtracting. What I could say is 210 minus 196, right? That's how far, well, that, this will help me approximate the distance between the square root of 210 and 14, right? And that's just 14. And 225 minus 210 is 15. So it's a little bit closer, about halfway to 14, right? Because this, the difference is a little bit less. So this is this, the positive square root of 210. If, he, if 0 is over here, well, let's try to set up a reasonable scale. Let's say, well, I think I set up my number line in a way that I can't really set up a reasonable scale. So let me just clear it off. So I want to show you what the negative roots will look like as well. Okay. So let me reset this up. So the negative roots, right, put 0 right in the middle. Let's say here is 14, and here is 15. And again, it's a little bit closer to 14. That's the positive root of 210. The negative root, right, will be the opposite of that. Here's negative 14. Here's negative 15. And again, it's a little bit closer to negative 14. So it's negative 210, the negative root of 210. So both of these roots squared will give you 210. All right, thanks.